Hi, welcome to the exciting world of Atlas GPS. This movie is going to show you the basic functionality of the Atlas GPS, but naturally there are a lot of options and possibilities that you can explore on your own. Let's start with the real basics. We want to insert batteries and the optional memory card into the Atlas GPS. Open the battery case. Insert the memory card with the label up in the slot on the top of the battery compartment and then place the batteries according to the plus minus signs inside the battery compartment. Replace the battery cover like this. Naturally you can use the Atlas without the memory card but then you won't get the same level of detailed information. Start the Atlas by pressing the power button. The Atlas will now start tracking satellites. You can press the exit button to get rid of the alarm texts that contains information about the mapping data. Press page to go into the satellite status you will now see the satellites that the GPS receiver is tracking and uh, the bars will show you the signal strength. After a couple of moments you will find that the Atlas finds its position. It shows 3D fix on the upper right corner and it will also show you the estimated position error which is 12 meters at the moment. A 3D fix means that the GPS has information from at least four satellites and that the position is accurate. Uh, the first time you start the Atlas uh, it will be started in easy mode. There are two modes of operation in the Atlas, easy and advanced mode. And there are some differences but many similarities. First of all we will scroll through the different functions of the Atlas in easy mode. Press page to go to the next uh, uh, navigation screen. Here we have information about the bearing we are traveling with or should be traveling in, the track that we're traveling in, ground speed, etc. Press page again and we will come into the mapping page. And the map page will show you the current location on the electronic map obtained by the memory card page again and we are back to the satellite position page. One good feature with the Atlas is to store a home waypoint as a waypoint or an electronic address to go to. For example if you have parked your car and want to find the car on the parking space again. This is done by pressing enter and answer the question save home as waypoint Yes, by pressing enter again. Now home is saved as a waypoint. So what you do when you store a home position is to store your current location which you want to find later on. I can press page to go into mapping window. I can zoom in by pressing the set in button repeatedly and you will find that the map detail will occur every time you press the zoom button. Now we can see that we are in the neighborhood of Solentuna in Sweden. Zoom in even further and you will find detailed information about streets, roads, etc. around the neighborhood. You will also find information about water, lakes, rivers, etc. Your position is marked by the small triangle in the center of the screen and you will also see the name home of the home waypoint that we just stored. When a home is stored and you want to find the home and navigate back to it, you press find, you press enter for go home, now, since we haven't moved, we will have the arrival alarm, which alerts with us that we have found our home waypoint and we have found home again. 
press exit and the alarm is gone. Now we use the Atlas in easy mode. Let's go into advanced mode to explore all the options. Press menu, press arrow down until we come to the text advanced mode. Press enter, select yes by pressing arrow left, press enter again and we are in advanced mode. In advanced mode we can use waypoint navigation, route navigation and other features. When you are in the mapping page use the zoom in and zoom out buttons to view different details of the map. One good thing that you also can do is to move your position on the map or move the cursor on the map to view other locations that you are not at at the moment. This is done by pressing arrow keys. You see that the cursor is appearing and you will also see pop-up information of road names etc. This function is good if you want to find information in places where you are not at at the moment. So for example if you want to find a restaurant or a hotel or a railway station in a city you want to visit you can do that by scrolling the cursor to the city and find points of interest which we're going to show next. When you move the cursor naturally the map image will change. If you want to see the map image over your present location just press exit. If you go, want to go back to the cursor location press exit again. You have a lot of possibilities when it comes to searching for waypoints, for addresses, for highways, for points of interest etc. in the atlas. Now I'm going to use the search function in the atlas to find a point of interest. In this case a local restaurant. Press find, press down to map places, confirm with enter here is point of interests marked. Now I can choose a subcategory. Press right until I see restaurants. Press enter. And I want to find the nearest one so I press enter again. Now the list of restaurants in the neighborhood is in front of me. I want to go to the closest one which is marked on the top. I press enter. Here I can also find the phone number and the location of the restaurant. And here I can choose between if I want to go to the restaurant or by pressing left or right if I want to find the restaurant on the map. In this case I want to find it on the map. Press enter. And the restaurant will appear at the center of the cursor with an icon in the map. Thanks to the information I got in the Atlas, I now found a way to the restaurant. This movie has given you the basics in how to use the Atlas GPS. You might own an Atlas Pro, you will find that they work more or less exactly the same. So once again, welcome to the world of Atlas.